Hey cruisers, welcome to the Cruise Tips TV Cantina. We are open and we've got a big crowd here tonight. Hey, could you guys kind of keep it down a little bit? I'm trying to make a cocktail. In fact, I'm trying to make a Royal Caribbean cocktail. For the last few weeks, if you'll recall, we have made Carnival Cruise Line cocktails. You're gonna to wanna to go back and see our fun ship recipe video and our cucumber sunrise alchemy bar video. You guys, please, I'm trying to talk to our community here. Would you keep it down back there? So here we are, the Cruise Tips TV Cantina. Wink, wink. <laughs> Just having a little fun with you guys. Hey, we gotta keep ourselves pumped up between cruises, right? Anyhow, we are back, but this time y'all requested that we make a cocktail from Royal Caribbean. So we went straight to the lime and coconut bar and you told us, hey, make the Goombay Smash. Why do you want us to make the Goombay Smash? Because it's tropical but strong and somebody figured out that it has one of my favorite things in it and that is Kraken rum. So let me tell you guys what you are going to need to make this recipe. Now we're gonna link to it on our website, of course, full recipe down in the description of this video, but this is actually a pretty simple one. You are going to need Kraken rum. You don't have to buy the Costco bottle like I did, or you know, you could. You're going to wanna to get some coconut rum. You could use Malibu, but I'm using this toasted coconut rum from Kula. Yum, yum, yum. Doesn't this one look good? You're also going to need pineapple juice and orange juice. Now, the lime and coconut menu says that those are the only four ingredients, but I've found that adding a little bit of coconut milk or cream, like a half an ounce to an ounce, makes it just a little bit more tropical and creamy. So that is what I am going to do. Now, my first memory of the Goombe Smash was when I was on Navigator of the Seas. Last November, I got to go on kind of a preview cruise with a bunch of awesome travel advisors. And we all headed to the Lime and Coconut Bar, and this was the drink that I tried. I think I actually had it in like a signature Royal Caribbean cup of some sort. So what do you think? Shall we get started with this? Again, recipe is in the description of this video and on our website so you can just sit back and relax and enjoy. All right, let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna start with a cocktail shaker and we are going to fill this sucker with some ice. There we go. And then we are going to put in, let's start from the top. Let's go with our Kraken rum first. We're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce each of Kraken rum and the coconut rum. This is a heavy bottle. This is what you get for buying your bottles at Costco. All right, here we go. This is kind of a small ounce. So I'm gonna fill that sucker up, why not? All right, there's our Kraken rum. Yum, love the smell of that. If you haven't had Kraken rum, Mm -mm -mm. It is a black spiced rum with very high alcohol volume. And now we're gonna go with our coconut rum. This is gonna be so good. So tropical. There we go. Three quarters to an ounce of the coconut rum is in. And now we're gonna pour in, gosh, you can use your best judgment depending on how strong you want this to be. I would say about an ounce each of pineapple juice and orange juice. So I'm gonna go with about an ounce of orange juice about an ounce of pineapple juice there, and then I'm gonna go with about half an ounce of coconut milk. Now I know it doesn't make it look that pretty, it's actually a little bit kind of chunky and weird, but it tastes really good. So we are going to shake this sucker up, put it in a glass and give it a taste. Here we go. All right, if you guys have any kind of a Royal Caribbean logo glass laying around the house that you haven't used in a while, this is the perfect drink to serve it in because it is so tropical, it just screams pool deck. So here we go, let's pour and see how it looks. Mmm, oh yeah. You can see that it's just a teeny tiny bit creamy because we put that coconut milk, coconut cream, whatever you have on hand in there. Oh my gosh, look at that. It was the perfect amount for this glass. I have these glasses on Amazon too, if anybody's interested. So I'll make sure that we link to our little cocktail making storefront, but let's give this one a taste. Mmm, that is so good. This takes me right back to my last Royal Caribbean cruise on Navigator of the Seas, right up to the beautiful lime and coconut bar. It's like a three-story bar out by the pool. 
the pineapple and the coconut really shine through, but yet this has enough liquor in it that you're probably going to feel this one too. Absolutely a favorite. Oh my goodness, it's so, so good. All right, now we want to hear from you. What drink recipes do you want us to make? Already a huge special thanks to those of you who have submitted those awesome drink recipe ideas. We've been having a lot of fun with this series and we hope that you are too. Tell us how it goes when you make your cruise cocktail at home. All right, friends, until next time, I'll see you on the high seas.